Suzanne Clark from livingacreativelife.net is here. She's going to show us how to make our own tea sets and glasses. Good to see you. Nice to see you too, Destry. Yeah. Well, I'm so happy to share this craft with you because my daughter loves her tea set. We made this when we wanted to have a tea party for a bunch of girls and I could not find a tea set. With so a bunch you did of it on your own. So I made it myself. And ever since then, my daughter, as she's gotten older, now makes her own little plates and glasses and we have a good time. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. So you can make all this at home. I love how you said you can recycle if you yes, have any of this. absolutely. Recycle it. Where do we start, though, with the paint? What kind of well, paint? Well, first of all, and that is very important, we do need to start with a, um, a paint that's going to be able to be baked and be permanent. Okay. Now, I love this particular brand. It's called Permnamel. And the reason I like it for kids is it's water-based. And that's really important because we want easy cleanup. We don't want a big mess all over the place. Right. Okay. This so is easy cleanup. Easy clean up but it'll stay okay yes and it will stay after it's baked and the directions are on the bottle okay very okay. good so where do we start as far as painting well first of all you want to clean and prep your your dish or your bowl or your teacup and then we just want to get on in and start painting so I'm going to show you how I actually did the teacups and this is more of a toll painting technique um, but it but it's quite easy and it's all about the paintbrush we're just going to get a rounded tip paintbrush we're going to put it in the paint and pull and drag and we're just going to keep on going around and around until we get the desired little flower and then we can end with a little dot in the middle Okay. And that's really simple. And we're talking, you know, maybe second graders, third graders, yes. or older. But you also have a way where they can do the whole thing with Q-tips if, like, my daughter's sick. Right, right. Now, I have a foolproof technique. Because, you know, I think it's really important when we're working with kids that they feel successful and they come out with a really mm -hmm. nice finished project. So if I use a straight-edged brush like this, I can make perfect lines. And I can just take that paint and go like this and make little dashes. And so, you know, and you don't have to be too worried about it being exactly the same length. It's all about the hand painting. And then if I take a Q-tip, and this is my And now that's my what you said. You said Q-tips are key. Well, they make the perfect little circle. So all we want to do, if we want to make a little flower, we can put this on our paper and you can kind of twirl it. If you want to put so a little twirl. highlight, yeah. And you can put a little bit of white in it so you can kind of swirl the colors together. And we're just going to form a, a cute little flower. But then this way, the kids feel like, wow, look what I did. I'm an artist, right. and I made a beautiful project. And you can put all these different um, uh, the circles together. You can make grapes. You can just make polka dots and dots and dashes. Um, another fun thing to do is to get these little sponge brushes, and they're round. Oh, um, yeah, that's fun, too. Yeah, and then you can dip them in as well. Um, is I'm there gonna... any secret? Well, actually, when you, if you just dip it and then if you don't like it you can always just redo it but I kind of like to swirl and then it makes an even coat okay so I'm gonna start a cherry and so that's a circle and then I'm just going to go ahead and just make a little stem and then go back and make a little leaf. But it's really fun and the, you know, the idea is that you don't get so caught up in everything being perfect. We want it to look hand painted and we want the kids to have a good time. Um, some other ideas too. I'm distracted. I'm very I know, it's kind into of fun, this, isn't it? Suzanne, it, it, is, yes. it is addictive. And look, mine is not perfect by any means, but it's just fun. And I think that's the point. I know Blythe exactly. could do it better. For and sure. you know what? If in this, you know, we're doing a tea set today for the little girls, but for the boys, even if I got a plate, I could write their name on there. No, I'm wondering. And it could be a pizza plate. Yeah. Oh, that's Wouldn't a good that idea. Do for a you know what? Party? And they love personalized. Now, yes. I'm wondering, because we were doing it on the paper, uh -huh. could, do our, you're actually going to do Go it ahead, on the plate. Go ahead, put it though. right there on the okay. plate. It, um, this isn't like your dinner and, room, right? Okay. No, and you know the nice thing about this, Destry, is let's say you do this and you go, oh, I just don't like it. You wash it off in the sink. Oh, really? Yes, or if it dries, you take a, a the adult, of course, would take a razor blade and just scrape it off. But it's so easy. And then we're going to place this after it dries into the oven, turn at 350, and it's going to cure the project. Okay, really? You put it in the oven at 350. Just like this, once you're done, mm -hmm. and bam, you're done. How and, cute is that? Another cute thing is to put handprints or thumbprints for 
fun little pro or, you know, projects. If you want a glass, a fancy glass, yes. you can do this for mom. Or if the kids want something fancy, they can actually just decorate glasses just well, like that. My kids like to drink, you know, juice and things out of this. And also we put ice cream or a little sundae or whatever in it. And then after this has been cured in the oven, if you wish, you can always embellish with some little Ooh, bling. crystal. We can bling it up a little bit. And I, I would use an E6000 glue with a toothpick. And here, one of these nice little rhinestones right to the glass. Now, I have a question and for you. Have a beautiful. A, do you put this in the oven to cure? Yes. You do. Absolutely. And B, once this is done curing, can you put it in the dishwasher or? They say you can. I still hand wash mine. Okay. I okay. still hand wash mine. I Great think that tips. after a while, the heat kind of destroys the paint a bit. Okay. So, so keep that in yep. mind. Keep it safe. I love it. Great tips. For more information on anything we showed you today, go to livingacreativelife.net.